It's unknown how much COVID-19 has affected every aspect of life, including the U.S. immigration system processing. Since Biden took over, he has taken many initiatives to undo Trump administration immigration restrictions. The State Department has a backlog of over 2.6 million cases. Many of the applicants are documentary qualified, but can't seem to get through the system. Until the State Department next changes, the situation will not go into better. The businesses will continue to have their hard time for recruiting and hiring foreign talent. In this video, I will try to provide you with recent processing priorities from U.S. immigration agencies. Visit us as well in V channel with your questions to see how best we can help you out with your process. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Now, let's look at the National Visa Center, NVC Immigrant Visa Backlog Report, as of February 2022. Since March 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic has dramatically affected the Department of State's ability to process immigrant visa applications. U.S. embassies and consulates are working to resume routine visa services, a location-by-location location basis as expeditiously as possible in a safe manner. However, the pandemic continues to severely impact the number of visas of embassies and consulates abroad are able to process. The number of IV applicants whose cases are documentarily completed at NVC and ready for interview as of January 31st is 461,120. Number of documentarily complete IV applicants scheduled for February 2022 interview appointments is 27,454. Number of eligible IV applicants still pending the scheduling of an interview after February 2022 appointment scheduling was completed is 436,666. Recently updated by USCIS as worldwide restriction due to the COVID-19 pandemic begin to ease and in line with the President's proclamation regarding the safe resumption of international travel. The Bureau of Consular Affairs will focus on reducing wait times for all consular services at our embassies and consulates overseas while also protecting health and safety of our staff and applicants. However, the pandemic continues to severely impact the number of visas our embassies and consulates abroad are able to process. Although local conditions and restrictions and individual consular posts may continue to fluctuate, the guidance to post for the prioritization of consular services during the pandemic issued in November 2020 has been rescinded. Embassies and consulates have broad restrictions to determine how to prioritize visa appointments among the range of visa classes as safely as possible, subject to local conditions and restrictions. Now, as of February 2022, let's find out the priority order of visa processing in the countries where the embassies have started operating fully or with limited capacity. 1. IR3 IR4 International Adoption Cases 2. IR2 Specifically, the immigrant child of a U.S. citizen who will turn 21 in the near future. 3. Special immigrant visas for Iraq and Afghan nationals working for the U.S. government. 4. CR1 or IR1 Marriage-based green card. 5. RL2 Specifically, the immigrant child of a U.S. citizen who will not turn 21 in the near future. 6. IR5 Parent of a U.S. citizen. 7. K-1 Fiancé or a U.S. citizen. 8. All other family-based visas and S. E1 foreign employees of the US government abroad. 9. All other immigrant visa types, including employment based in diversity fees. 10. H1B, L, TN, H2 non immigrant employment based visas. 11. F, M, J non immigrant students. 12. E1, E2 treaty trader, investor. 3. B1, B2, those eligible for an interview waiver. 14. B1, B2, currently not processing first-time applicants at all, even in countries without serious restrictions due to backlog taking precedence. That's all we have for you in this bulletin. Please share this information with family and friends who may need it. You can also help us spread the message by sharing it on all social media. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!